All right. So, today's practice is all about working with vata energy. And vata energy is about, when, when it's imbalanced, it's very much about, you'll notice there's a lot of movement in the body. Like people that are over vata, they've got too much vata, they move a lot and it's really hard to stay still. And so how that can manifest is like our mind gets really active so we can like jump from thought to thought and we can't like keep our heads in one idea. And the other way that it will manifest is like when you're practicing physically, you'll notice that there's a lot of like trembling in your body. And the vata energy lives in the large intestine and what we want to do today, the intention is to squeeze out all of that disturbance of energy so that you guys can have a really calm, easy, steady, non-reactive day. <laughs> Sounds great, right? Let's just see how that actually happens. So close your eyes. Let's just take a couple of breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Wherever you are, like, let yourself be here. Let the four walls of the space that you're in be like a sacred container that holds you whilst you practice today. So get this sense as, as though you're like, ah, oh, like you're leaning into the walls. Let's just set a really simple intent today is to just steady and calm our mind and our body. So let's just really anchor into what is here now in this moment. Which is our yoga mat as a little island of a sanctuary for ourselves. Alrighty, open your eyes. So first thing we're going to start on two, so up on our knees like so. I'll show you guys first and then we'll move in together. So it'll be an inhale to take your arms up. Exhale your hands to your sacrum and you'll fold forward like so, forehead to the floor. So let's just do a couple of rounds like that and then we'll start to add the breath in so you guys get an idea of where we're actually going. Alright, so up on your knees, inhale, arms up. Hands to sacrum, exhale to fold, forehead to the floor. And then we go inhale back up again. Keeping the arms reaching, palms active, and then hands to sacrum as you exhale, fold. Come up again, so no count on the inhale. But this time we're going to exhale for five, two, three, four. Five. Inhaler. Exhale for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, inhale up. Keeping the spine long. And then fold in for seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Inhale up. This is the last time as you exhale down for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Stay down. Take a full feeling breath in through the back of your body. And then focus as you exhale on getting all of your breath out. So really squeezing the breath out of the very bottom of your lungs. And then from there, walk your hands forward, tuck your toes, press back, downward facing dog. So because we're working with Vada today, guys, we wanna just keep as steady as possible in the body. Let's just start building through the foundation. So as you inhale, spread out through your palms, 
Get a sense of the hand bones. And likewise through your feet. So get a sense of spreading out through each toe. Maybe a little bend in your knees as you anchor back through your heels. Relax the back of your head. Separate your teeth. And then again, we'll add a little bit of movement in. So on your next breath in, come down to all fours. That's an inhale. You'll lift your chin a little bit. And then chin tucks in, press back to down dog as you exhale. So try and again, focus all the breath out. Inhale, knees lower. Chin lifts just a little bit. And then chin tucks in as you exhale into downward facing dogs. Again, feeling steady. No quick movement for Vata. Last one, inhale, knees go down. Chin lifts a little, and then exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna stay here now for about a minute. What I would like you to focus on is a ratio of breathing where you're breathing in and out for the same amount of breath. So let's say we inhale four, exhale four. Maybe you can stretch that to five. What I'd like you guys to do is, as you breathe out, focus on drawing your navel back towards your spine. So there's a slight contraction, particularly the lower abdomen, which is the large intestine. It's where vata resides. We're actually using the breath to squeeze out any of that residual vata energy. And noticing as you're holding where the body starts to quiver, that's again an indication of excess vata in the body. And this sense of just trusting the process as the body works that out. Yeah, take one more full feeling breath in and out. And then step your feet together and come forward into plank. We're going to hold plank. So I want you guys to feel again, it's a little bit of a hollow body. So a bit of rounding through your upper back, thighs, inner calves squeezed together, navel draws towards the spine. And this sense of a steady in and out breath. So we'll notice with Vada, we we'll start to get the agitation and then there's a tendency to want to move. So we want to really stay as still as possible. So we take one more feeling breath in. And then as you exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Bring your hands forward a little bit. So we're going to work through a cobra, like a kind of dynamic cobra. So we'll go through a few rounds first. So you'll inhale into a pretty low cobra. Keep your chin tucked. And then as you're exhaling, bend your left knee. It's like your heel towards the butt. Straighten your left leg, inhale a little higher. And then exhale, lower all the way. So you're gonna do a few of them. So inhale into a relatively low cobra. Keep reaching through your feet. Exhale, bend your right knee, heel towards your butt. Straighten the right knee, inhale to lift a little higher in cobra, keep your elbows slightly bent, and then exhale to lower. Let's go again, so inhale halfway cobra, thighs engage, exhale left knee bends, inhale to straighten the leg, come a little bit higher, see if you can get your upper back working, exhale lower all the way. Last one like this, inhale halfway, exhale right knee bends, straighten the right, inhale to come up, lower all the way as you exhale. Just pause there for a moment, take a feeling breath in, 
So we want to strengthen the lower back, which again, a weaker lower back is a manifestation of vata. Next part, we're going to come up into a cobra on the inhale. Hold here, then both your knees as you exhale. <laughs> it's like, oh, the hell, it's Christmas Day. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to breathe in and out. So in for four, out for four, in three, out three, whatever you can manage. But make it even. And get this sense of feeling like the heart moves forward as the heels move in. We're going to start to move the legs. So, so inhale, heels in towards the butt. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, heels in. Exhale to straight. Inhale, heels in. Exhale to straighten. Last one, inhale. Exhale to straighten, come all the way down. Tuck your toes. Press back to child's pose for one breath. And take your knees wide. Let your forehead rest on the floor and feel for like a really calm attitude. Like even though what we're doing is relatively intense. Feel for calm in your reaction to what's occurring. And then the next breath in, tuck your toes, press back. Down facing dogs, so get a nice long spine again. Resist the urge to pedal your feet just because we are working with Vada. But if you really need to move your legs, then you can. Just do what you need to do. So deep breath through the side of the rib cage. Feel the ribs expand. And then walk in your hands to your feet as you exhale and fold forward. Let the back of your head relax. A little bit of a bend through your knees. And that sense of any excess disturbance in your mind draining from the crown of your head. So let, let the earth have that, whatever is in there. Okay, and then from there, come all the way up as you inhale. Reach your arms skyward. And then lower your arms down as you exhale. And just pause there for a moment. So close your eyes. Get a sense of the direction of where the energy is moving. So you can feel that downward moving force. Alrighty. Next part where we are. Oh, you guys are going to love this. All right. Chair pose. Inhale. So up into chair, we just do a couple of rounds with no breath, so then you're folding forward as you exhale. And then we go inhale to come up, straighten the legs, and fold in Uttanasana as you exhale. Inhale to come all the way up, straight spine. Chair pose as you exhale, okay. Stay here, take an inhale, lift your chest. Fold forward for six, two, three, four, five, six. Come up into chair as you inhale. Straighten your legs. Forward fold as you exhale. Six, two, three, four, five, six. Come back into chair, inhale. Forward fold for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come up as you inhale, straighten the legs. Forward fold for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come all the way up, straight legs, inhale. Sink into chair as you exhale. Inhale, chest lifts. 
Forward fold for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up as you inhale. Straighten the legs, Woo. and then forward fold, exhale for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come all the way up as you inhale, straight legs, arms by your side as you exhale. So again, just momentary pause to let the energy settle. Bring your breath back to a one-to-one -one ratio. And again, see if you can sense into the direction that the energy is moving. Okay. From here, hands on hips. Inhale, lift your chest. Fold forward as you exhale. You can either grab onto your shins or your big toes. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, and then fold forward as you exhale, let the back of your head go. You can bend your knees as much as you need to here. But we're gonna stay in the forward fold just for one breath. So take a full feeling breath in here. See if you can let the back of your head go as you breathe out. And then inhale halfway again. Keep your chin tucked. Feel for a little bit of length through the spine. And then fold forward again as you exhale. And this time we'll hold for two. So you might draw up on your toes if you've got your toes. Taking your elbows out wide. Letting again that area where the neck and the skull bones meet. Let that relax. And again, inhale halfway, keep the chin tucked under, so we want to keep the mind still. Fold forward this time for three breaths, so staying in the forward fold, letting the spine give over to gravity, so there's no effort there. And just three steady in and out breaths. Inhale halfway. Last time, fold as you exhale. We'll stay here for four breaths. If you want to add on a little bit extra, hold the breath at the end of each exhale for just one count. So you're focusing on breathing in and out evenly with an additional pause at the end of the exhale for extra bit of oomph, a little bit of extra vata squeezing out. And so while you're here in this fold, feel connected through your feet. So lifting through the inner arches, but pressing through the balls and the heels. And then from there, inhale halfway, keep the chin tucked. Bring your hands to your hips, exhale there. Press through your legs, come all the way up, inhale. Uh. Arms by your side as you exhale. So just feel into the area below your navel and notice what is occurring there energetically. And then take your feet, guys, to about three feet apart. You can have your toes um, facing in, so you guys can face that way if you want, whatever, you, whatever works. Hands are on your hips. Inhale, lift up. Fold forward as you exhale, and then if you can, clasp your hands at your lower back, let the back of your head relax. From there, inhale, shoulders away from your ears, and then as you exhale, start to take your arms over your head. Just enough to feel like the collarbones spread, making sure the back of the head is relaxed. 
And again, you can have a little bend through the knees. But that sense of bringing a little bit more weight into um, the balls of the feet, the front of the feet. I'm going to be here for about a minute. So what I would encourage is steady counts in and out, even, even breath. And if you want to add on that momentary pause at the end of the exhale, then you can do that. But again, we want to feel into that calm, steady attitude. Not trying to go too intense too soon. For Vada, it's a lot about moving our awareness inwards. So if it helps to close your eyes, which it does for me for sure, work with your eyes closed. to the lower back, take an inhale to come all the way up, relax your arms by your side as you exhale, so feel that downward moving energy, awesome, all right, turn your right toes forward, you might want to reset your back foot here. So we're coming into a twisted triangle. I don't take my feet too far apart. Also, you can use blocks. So if you need a block, go for it. Inhale your left arm up, up by your ear. And as you exhale, extend forward, keeping your left arm up by your ear. So that will help you keep your spine straight. And then left hand to the floor outside of your right foot. If you need a block there, pop a block, no worries. Now you can keep your right hand on your sacrum here, or inhale to lengthen your spine forward, and as you exhale, take your right arm straight up. So we're going to be here again for about another minute, which sounds like a really long time, but it's actually about five just really long, steady breaths. And again, this sense of feeling for each exhale as you twist from your navel. Keep your awareness in the lower part of your abdomen, so like just below the navel center. And what we're aiming to do is twist out any excess wind in that place. So when we're working with Vata, we do a lot of like getting the wind out. So if you're doing a lot of that, it's pretty normal. And that's from the physical aspect and also obviously mental and emotional. Any type of excess movement. Feel your inner thighs squeeze into the midline. As you inhale, lengthen a little bit more. And then twist in your navel to your right as you exhale again. Keep reaching the right arm up if it's there. Okay, now from there, come back to forward fold. Take your left hand forward slightly. The more stable you feel, the more close to the midline that left hand is. But if you need it under your left shoulder for now, that's fine. Revolved half moon, lift your left leg up first. Get it parallel to the floor. So look back, check your toes, facing down, leg active, chest moves forward, and then right arm straight up. So we want to be squeezing the right leg into the midline, like roll your inner right thigh inward. And then anchor the twist again from the navel center. So gaze is somewhere where your neck is relaxed, no straining. 
We want to work in a way again that's just calm and steady, easy breath. I'm just feeling like where's those little quivers of movement in your body? Like for me, it's in my elbow joints. You know, Vata lives in the joints, so you most likely feel it there first. And just let that energy move out in its way that it needs to. So nothing we really need to do. All righty. Lower your left foot down. Come all the way up as you inhale. <laughs> Parallel your feet. Energy moves down as you exhale. So just keep coming back to what this is doing in the mind. It, we're not really, the body's, it's just a way to get to the mind. And then let's change sides. So left foot goes forward, right toes turn out. Inhale, right arm up. So bicep by your ear. Exhale, right arm extends forward. So keep feeling for length through the spine, length through the spine, length through the spine. And then the right hand can come outside of the left foot. Remember, there's a block there if you need it. Option to keep your left hand on your sacrum, no props. If you want to go up with the left arm, you can. Try to not take it too far back. Like we tend to rely on this left arm to twist when really we're not, we want to twist from the navel. That's where the energy is we're working. So take an inhale, get the length again through the spine, feel the crown of the head move forward. Thighs squeeze into the midline and twist from the navel as you exhale. Back of the neck relaxed. Steady through your feet. And then again, let those little quivers of movement occur, like let this kind of energy move out in its way that it will. But just notice where in the body there are quivers. One to one ratio of your breath. Beautiful, and then release, bring the right hand forward. We're setting up for revolving half moon. You can have that hand on a block. You can bring it closer to the midline if you're feeling more stable. Right leg lifts, look back, check the back toes face straight down. No point in lifting the leg too high. That's not the aim. We just want to feel parallel through the pelvis. And then the left arm can go straight up. It's all about squeezing out what's in the lower intestine, large intestine there. So lower part of the navel. And really, we, if our mind is in that place, then whatever needs to work will. It's like where our attention goes, the energy will flow. Let's so keep the breath anchored in that place. And each breath out, twist in a little deeper with your navel, but keep the pelvis steady. Release, lower the back leg down, press up, parallel your feet, arms by your side. Whew. <laughs> Warrior two, turn your right toes forward. Actually, let's do a pyramid first. So take your right toes forward, turn the left toes out. Your left hand will clasp your right. Inhale, lift up through your chest, fold forward as you exhale. So if the clasping of the hand thing is just a bit too much for you today, don't do it. Just put your hands on the floor or you can put your hands on a block, no worries. Let the back of the head go. 
feeling steady through the legs. One to one reassure of the breath, the easy breath. To get this sense of as we fold forward, there's a little bit of pressure on the lower abdomen. But seeing again any excess movement drain from the spine, like let gravity take it. Press through the legs, come all the way up, inhale. Change feet positions as you exhale. So you might need to do a bit of a shimmy with your back foot there. And then opposite hand, so your right hand grabs your left wrist. Inhale, lift your chest. And then hinge straight forward as you exhale. Try to keep um, the chin slightly tucked. Just again, we want to... What that does is it actually stops prana going up into the brain and it just helps us keep like a little bit of a more steady mind. And sometimes we want prana up there, but just not today. We want to be in our body today. Very much so. So again, one-to-one -one ratio of the breath. Let the legs quiver, they will. Okay, and the next breath, press for your legs, come all the way up, inhale, parallel your feet again. Whew, relax your arms by your side as you exhale. Pause a moment there. Alrighty, last standing pose. Warrior two, take your right toes forward, left toes out. Warrior two, I'm actually finding at the moment that my back leg needs to go at a funny angle because it's better in my hip joint. So if that's you guys to do it. Front knee bends, palms upward facing. Let the shoulders relax away from your ears. What I would like you guys to feel for here, it's like, right, we're doing warrior because we're probably about to spend some time with our family. So, <laughs> how can we be steady in our legs, soft in our heart? Okay, and we take this pause, we practice this pause because we know we're gonna need to take this pause somehow through the day. A few breaths here to really feel it. And when that moment comes today, you get in your legs, but keep your heart soft. Awesome work. Straighten your leg, inhale. Notice when we embody the real essence of the pose, it becomes so much easier to stay and then change. So left toes forward. Do what you need to with your back foot, whatever's comfortable. Less about the asana, more about the, the actual mind today. And again, practice. How can you be fully steady in your legs like you're rooted? You're anchored in yourself, but there's space and openness in your heart for others, for everybody else. And this misconception of what a warrior is, they're not fighters, they have open hearts. Right, 
Beautiful work, straighten the front leg, parallel your feet, relax your arms, holy moly. Feel that energy descend down. Toe heel your feet together, nothing fancy. Let's come down onto our knees. So we're gonna go back to what we were doing at the very start. I'll show you guys one round and then, um, and then you get the drift of where we're going. So you're gonna have your left hand on your sacrum, right arm up, you'll inhale and then just exhale to fall. So just doing one-handed. Okay. Inhale to come up and then so on and so forth. So we'll go together because there are a couple of little cues that are important here. So. Right arm by your ear, inhale to lift up. Try not to flare your ribs too much. And then as you exhale, see if you can let your belly get to your thighs before your arm goes down. So arm and head touch the floor almost at the same time if you can. And then come up again on the inhale. So do a few rounds just to get that in. And then exhale, aim to get the belly on the thigh first. So strengthening the lower back arm and head touch at the same time ish two more inhale to come up exhale last one inhale to come up extend keeping the right bicep by the ear as the exhale And from there, come all the way up, inhale. Lower your right arm by your side as you exhale. Right hand to sacrum, left arm up. Okay, so we go inhale. Exhale to extend forward. Belly onto your thighs. Arm, head. Inhale to come up. Exhale to lower, keeping the spine long. Two more. Inhale to come up. Exhale to extend. Last one. Inhale. Extending forward as you exhale. And this time, stay down, forehead to the floor. You can take a narrow child's pose with your knees together, arms by your side, or wide, arms straight ahead. Where the pressure is on your forehead, let that be a, a marker for where you can steady your mind, like cool attitude. And then walk your hands back. Come on up to kneeling. So we're gonna we'll come into a forward fold with an added um, extra bit of something something. So you're gonna bring your thumbs inside your fist, fingers wrap around, and then really we want because obviously we're working with a large intestine, we want to get below the belly. So you'll have your fist just underneath your navel. What I do is I like to actually press them in and then lift the skin up. But once you go into the forward fold, you'll feel where you need to go. Okay, so inhale. And then forward fold as you exhale. Ideally, your head will reach the floor. If that's not the case, come up, get a block, put a block underneath, something like that. But you're going to keep this applied pressure to your lower abdomen. And then start to work with a one-to-one -one ratio of your breath. So when you inhale, you'll feel your belly balloon out. 
And then when you exhale, obviously, the fists can move in a little bit more. And you might move them around a little bit, like this is it's up to you. Or you might just find one spot where you're like, oh, that's a little bit tender, a little bit interesting. I'm going to stay here. Rather than your hands be in the massage, let your breath do the massage. It's much more effective. I just got a burp. <laughs> I love it when all these noises start to come out in practice. It's like, yeah, it's working. Okay, last breath, full breath in. And a full breath out, that whole entire breath out, out, out. And come on up on your inhale. Just let your hands rest on your thighs as you exhale. Pause there, just let that settle in. For me, there's always like this sense of clarity in the, in the navel. It's like some, the energy is just moving a bit more freely in there. All right, I'll show you this bit and then we'll do it together. So you're gonna be on your back. You can take your arms out straight or you can work with cactus arms. We're gonna have the legs straight up and then we'll take the left leg down, we'll hold that for a couple of breaths and then we'll change opposite leg, all right? So let's start with the, little, with the legs vertical. Just make sure that your chin is tucked, your back of your neck is long and try to keep the navel drawn towards the spine, okay? So we're gonna keep the, left, the right leg up first, left leg will lower. So we've got a little bit of pressure on the ascending colon and the left heel's hovering, maybe like two or three inches above the floor. Try to keep the lower back pretty connected to the mat. So you know you're not bulging the front of the belly out. Steady breath. So a lot of the work we do with the abdomen in all the practices is about moving vata forest yoga abs. We've got some little ab things coming, which is really exciting. I'm sure you guys can't wait. <laughs> and then let's change. Take the left leg up, lower the right leg down. Notice this is a lot of, for me, there's a lot of trembling through my legs, which for me indicates that something's shifting. There's a lot of vata wobbling through my legs there. And again, we're pushing up through the left leg, but reaching out through the right. So both the toes are flexed back, chin is tucked, navel draws down. Steady breath. And then bring both legs up, take them up vertical, just rest there for a moment. Take a breath in, and a full breath out. And then this time, lower your left leg all the way down to the floor. Keep the right leg reaching up. And then we're going to inhale to reach through the right heel. And then as you exhale, take your right leg over to your left. But you're not going to let it rest on the floor. It's going to hover just to its parallel. And then inhale, bring it back. And then exhale, take it over again. So we're just actively squeezing into the abdomen now. We go again, inhale, right leg up. Taking it over as you exhale. And this time, pause here. Now feel like your inner left leg is rolling into the midline. The right leg is hovering above the earth, so it's parallel. 
And then we're going to inhale, bend the right knee, so heel towards the butt. And exhale, straighten it so that heel pushes away. That's it. So inhale, right heel towards the butt. Keep rolling the left leg in. Exhale, press. Let's just do three more like that. So keeping anchored through the left leg as the left leg rolls in. And then using that right leg, we're actually just actually squeezing Vata out of the intestines. Like we're using the movement to rinse out whatever's remaining in there. Okay. And then from there, inhale the right leg up. And as you exhale, take it all the way over this time. Now, if you need to bend your right knee and take it more of a supine, that's okay. But if you can work with a straight right leg, do that. And just practice pushing out through both heels. So we want to keep this active. We want to keep the sacrum protected. And then get a sense of twisting your navel towards the right. So even though your leg is gone to the left, the navel center moves towards the right. And then inhale the right leg up. Let's just lower that right leg down for a moment. Pause there, let's just let that settle in. So keeping your awareness in your lower belly. Notice what you notice. And let's go to the other side. So take both legs up. Let's do this properly. I like the legs up because it just helps to like, um, get the spine onto the floor, we get a sense there, and then extend the right leg down, so it's on the floor. And then we inhale, push up through the left heel, and then exhale, left heel, over to the left, over to the right, pardon me. So again, inhale it back, exhale, over to the right. Let's do three more, so inhale back, Exhale, over. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to come up. Exhale, the left leg over to the right and then hold there. So remember, rotate your inner right thigh to the midline. And then we inhale, bend the left knee, heel to butt, and exhale, extend. Inhale, left knee bends. Exhale, extend. Inhale to bend. Exhale, extend. Then inhale, the legs straight up. Exhale over to the twist. So this time the leg reaches the floor. Remember if um, the left leg straight isn't great for you, you can bend the knee. Roll the right leg into the midline. Let the leg rest on the floor if you can. And pushing out through both heels. So again, navel spins to the left this time. Maybe even gaze to the left. one-to-one -one ratio of your breath. Next inhale, bring the left leg up. 
lower, both legs down as you exhale, pause there. Chin tucked, back of the neck lung, body resting on the floor. Here we go. So I would suggest bringing your hands underneath your butt here, but if you're, if you're hardcore, you don't wanna go there, don't, you choose. Just helps me with my lower back. And we're gonna bring the legs to 60 degree angle, so they're not quite straight up, okay? Now you can just work with squeezing the legs together, so inner thighs, inner calves, etc. If you want to go a little bit deeper, cross your right ankle over your left foot and spread your ankles as wide as you possibly can. And then we're feeling here, we're, like, we're literally <laughs> squeezing vata out of the intestines with our legs. So the stronger you cannot squeeze strong enough. You've probably got a major tremble going on, usually the floor's shaking. Couple more breaths here. And then change your legs crossed. If you've got them, if you've not got your legs crossed, you're just still squeezing your legs together in a 60 degree angle. Heels as wide apart as you can, chin tucked under, tailbone lengthens towards the bottom of the mat. Now release, lower your legs about another 30 degrees. Same thing, right foot over, heels apart. You can just keep your legs squeezing together if this is too much, but by now you will definitely be trembling unless you are like insanely, like no batter in your body, which is not possible. So again, keeping your breath steady. Change sides. Cross of your legs, if you've got your legs crossed, if not, no worries, just squeeze your legs together, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. And then lower your feet so they're four inches off the floor. Keep reaching your tailbone, this time don't cross the legs, just reach through your legs. Sending your tailbone down, keep your chin tucked. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. Take one more inhale. Release on your exhale, relax your arms by your side. Deep breath into your belly. Full breath out. Okay, and then bend your knees so your feet are flat. We're gonna set up for a moving bridge. I'll take you through a few of these. So your arms are by your side, palms are upward facing. Chin is tucked and the back of your neck is long. Let's just do the movements. We're gonna inhale the arms up over the head as the pelvis lifts. And then we're gonna exhale, just lower the arms down, pelvis lower. So we're not doing any counting. Inhale to lift, arms lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, keep your arms there. Stay in bridge as you exhale. Once all of your breath is out, hold your breath out and lower your spine. So you'll actually create an Uddiyana. As you keep your breath held out, you lower your pelvis all the way down. And then relax your arms by your side. So you're gonna do that three more times. So inhale, pelvis lifts, arms lift. At the top, exhale everything out. Hold the breath out. Lower your spine super slowly. With the breath held out, and you'll, you'll naturally feel the belly draw back towards the spine. Uddiyana Bunda. When you get down, relax your arms by your side. 
Let's do two more. So inhale, arms up, pelvis up. Exhale completely. Once all the breath is out, hold it out and lower. So you can really articulate your spine as you do lower. And then relax your arms by your side. Last one. Inhale to come up. Exhale fully as you stay lifted. Hold the breath out and lower. Really place in your spine so intentionally as you lower. Keep holding the breath out. Ensure all the way down. Release your arms by your side. Pause there. Full breath in. And out. Awesome. Roll over onto one side. Coming up to seated. So you can have a little bend in your legs here. We're going to do a few dynamic rounds of Paschimottanasana and then we'll stay in the forward fold. So inhale, arms up. Extending forward as you exhale. So keeping your spine as long as you can. Bend your knees if you need to. Grab your feet or your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. And then fold forward as you exhale. Extend your arms forward. Come all the way up. Inhale. This time exhale for five two, three, four, five, inhale, halfway, fold as you exhale, and then come all the way up as you inhale, keeping the spine long, this time we exhale for six, two, three, four, five, Six, inhale halfway, fold forward, exhale, inhale all the way up, exhale seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale halfway, Chin stays tucked here. Fold as you exhale. Last one. Inhale to come up. Extend for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale halfway. And then exhale to fold. Now you can do this with straight legs, more like a caterpillar, if you know yin. If it's not great for you, come into Baddha Konasana, so do more like a butterfly. So that's more than, you know, valid to do. It's about now lengthening the spine and just really bringing in the energy of a forward fold, down regulating. A pan of IU. Grounding. You can work with a breath of in for four, out for four, hold out for one. Or you can work on doubling your exhale to your inhale. Separate your teeth, let your mind rest in stillness of the body.
And then next breath in, come all the way up, active. Whether that's legs straight or not, come all the way down onto your back. Pause there for a moment. Hopefully feeling a little more weighty in your body. Let's take a very brief twist to release the lower back before Shavasana. So bend your knees, off center your pelvis to the right and take both knees to the left. Check that your shins are stacked here. You can bring your knees pretty close to your chest. Right arm out to shoulder height. Maybe your gaze towards your right fingertips. Just let your shoulders rest. Teeth separate, steady breath. And then bringing everything back through center, place your feet flat. Off center, pelvis to the left, knees to the right. Left arm, shoulder height. Knees close to chest. back through center. Just place both feet flat there, draw your knees into your chest, arms around your shins. Tuck of the chin so the back of the neck is long. And then let yourself extend into Shavasana. Just taking your ankles to the outer edges of the mat, arms by your side. Chin tucked. Back of the neck long, shoulders away from your ears. Really sense into the feeling of your body here. So feel your skin, feel the breeze on your skin, the air. Feeling into your internal organs, they work while you rest. your blood, your muscles, your bones. It's a very visceral sense of feeling.
Start to invite your breath in as you move your fingers and your toes. And he's into one side. The next breath or two. Come on up to seated. We will work with a little bit of pranayama before we finish. So once you're in seated, up on a block or against the wall, resting your hands on your thighs, palms down to ground, palms up to receive. Just Begin by breathing in and out through the nose. Let's just get the breath pretty steady. It feels better breathing through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm going to work with a breath called Viloma, which is a three part breath. Today we'll focus on pausing after the exhale of three parts. So let's take a breath in together. And a breath out together. And then just inhale freely. It's the top of your inhale. Exhale a third of the breath. Pause. Exhale the second third. Pause. Exhale the final third. Pause. Again, just take a free inhale. Exhale a third of the breath. Pause, exhale the second third, pause, exhale the final third, pause, free inhale, exhale up just near the chest, pause, Exhale the second third at the uh, navel center, pause. Exhale the bottom third of your lower abdomen, pause. Inhale freely. Exhale the area of your chest, pause. Exhale the second third around your Upper navel, pause. Exhale the bottom third, lower navel, pause. Take yourself through three more rounds like that. So focus in the first third in the upper chest, second third in the upper abdomen. Final third in the lower abdomen.
completed your rounds, let your breath just find its natural rhythm again. Just remembering that you've anchored yourself in this quality of energy for the day to day. It's here, it's in your body, it's not going anywhere. You can access it at any point. Remember that today. Bring your hands to heart. A deep breath in. And full breath out. Namaste. Namaste, friends. Stay where you are, no need to move. Stop there.